When it comes to women's high jump, Vashti Cunningham has been the top American woman for years. In fact, this summer, she has a chance to become the first American since 1988 to win Olympic gold in the high jump. In honor of Father's Day, we caught up with Vashti, who is coached by NFL great Randall Cunningham, who, oh, by the way, just happens to be her dad. Our Leslie Visser talked with this dynamic duo as they prepare for the Olympics in Tokyo. It's so great to see two generations of athletes of the Cunninghams. How you doing, Leslie? I'm doing really well, and nice to meet you, Vashti. Hi, Leslie. Nice to meet you, too, and thank you for having me. No, it's great. Are you aware of the greatness of what your dad did? I definitely have. When I was younger, I was not as aware as I am now. Um, over the years, I've got to really, really see the effect that he has had and the impact that he has on people, and it's just very, very inspiring to me. Your dad was a high school high jumper, but it's not a sport that many young girls are drawn to. <laughs> can, can you talk <laughs> about growing up? And you said, yeah, high jump, that's for me. I, did, I was really, really involved in football when I was younger. I wanted to take that as far as I could, and it came to a time when I just couldn't do it anymore. The boys were so much bigger than me. I was so skinny, um, <laughs> and it was probably around fourth grade when my dad brought me to a track for the first time, and I was able to run around the track, and then I was able to get into the different events. I was doing hurdles and long jump and then high jump. And out of nowhere, it just became my strongest event and my strong suit. And my dad was just really, really having me focus on that. Randall, it's a very unusual uh, training method that you guys have together. You lift most days a week, really watch your nutrition. Can you explain it and where it comes from? Yeah, the, the, the way we train is very unorthodox. Um, I don't train her like most high jumpers, but I train her mentally. And the physical part is very, very difficult. But uh, I mean, like, she's very strong. She squats 360 to 400 pounds with, and she weighs 100 and what, 18 pounds? 20. 120 pounds. People call her a beast when they see her lift weights, but that's just a God given ability. But it's very unorthodox. We don't let our training um, out of the box. It's just something that I learned from my high school all the way through the pros, and I've studied the Russians, the East Germans, uh, all of those on the Eastern Bloc, and uh, tried to really use what we could use worldwide from the from, from what I've learned. And, uh, and, and, you know, my daughter will tell you, I don't play, you know. We, we've got to rest. We've got to get our nutrition. Everything's got to be legal. Um, there's no cheating. and uh, But the mental aspect uh, has to come in conjunction with the, the natural giftings that God has given each one of the athletes that I coach. How do you separate coach from dad? That's a good question because <laughs> we we have definitely come, come to some moments where I've had to tell my dad, like, okay, I'm with you for practice for about two hours in the day, and then when you come home after working, you want to talk about track. And I'm just like, okay, sometimes I need to talk to my dad. Sometimes we need to put track to the side and we need to have, you know, family conversations, father-daughter conversations. And I think that in the beginning, it was definitely a, a huge role that was being played as my coach. And I really, really um, applaud him for, you know, being able to take the hat off and be just my dad sometimes. There's a learning curve to it. It was, <laughs> it was a learning curve. <laughs> dad, how do you navigate that? Um, it's pretty simple. I've had my career, and it's not about me. And I'm just thankful to have the opportunity to, to be able to coach uh, my daughter and to lead her. And so it's truly a blessing. And it would be a blessing to be uh, next to her for the Olympics right there in Japan, doing our thing and, you know, just being a support system, knowing that I'm just a piece of the, pl the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> What will it mean to you to have him by your side at an Olympics where you are favored to medal, possibly the gold? To have my dad at the Olympics with me is going to mean pretty much everything. Um, I really feed off of my family and their prayers and everything. I just love to be have them around supporting me and also to turn and just look and let them know, like, a lot of this is because you're here. So being able to be with my dad, me and him are very close. It's just going to be very special to me. 
Oh, I am thrilled for them and Aditi, no crying. <laughs> The U.S. Olympic track and field trials are ongoing right now in Eugene, Oregon, and Vashti will be competing tonight in the finals of the high jump to secure her spot on that Olympic team. So exciting. Oh, incredible. Yeah, yeah. incredible. It is so exciting, guys. And the one thing that really caught kind of my eye from this whole piece was the idea that they had a conversation about needing dad and needing coach. And sometimes you have to have those tough conversations and you look at, you know, even Serena and Venus and different athletes that have been coached by their dads. But at the end of the day, you see the love that's there. And that to me is um, just unbelievable this Father's Day. Not just the love, but the pride that you can see from Randall Cunningham for everything that he has accomplished. The way he is so invested in and proud of what his daughter is doing. That's what dads are about, really. How much he's learned about the sport. Studying. Oh. Yes. How he's talked about studying to be able to train. And I just think so much we think about the end goal and in the ultimate journey that we want to take to get to a certain place in, in professional lives or careers or um, in this case for Vashti, but to do it with your father and for him to do it with his daughter and even for her to be able to be so open and talking about sometimes I need you to be my coach, sometimes I need you to be my dad and, and to be able to have that type of relationship. Um, it, it just, it really goes far beyond anything you could ever imagine in, in something that you're pouring your heart and soul and, into. And that's the piece of the Olympics that you never get there by yourself. Mm -hmm. It's the commitment of your parents and your family and the sacrifices that they make to help push you to that stage. That you makes me tears? so emotional. The no, there are no tears. Yeah. You can here's, come close. She's calling me out. You guys, I spoke about it earlier. He's going to be one of the only dads that's there yeah. cheering on his daughter, which will be very, very exciting. Sam, I just wanted to add to that. And keep in mind, he said, we train hard and we're clean because he was making that point. Don't come for my daughter. She is doing it the right way. You know, there's always those question marks about somebody that has spectacular talent. If you're using, yep, but so true. Great point, Swen. Great point. Okay, coming up next on We Need to Talk, presented by Ford, fresh off winning the College World Series and being honored as the most outstanding player, Oklahoma's Giselle Juarez joins us. <laughs>